Welcome in to the Harry Lumley Bayshore Community Center and the J.D. MacArthur Arena for tonight's Senior B lacrosse match between the Owen Sound, Bug Juice, North Stars, and the Six Nations Rivermen. I'm Spencer Byers doing your solo broadcast today. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We have some more Senior B action, but tonight we got the Rivermen. 4-0 currently on the year. Also beating Owen Sound earlier this season by a score of 10-8. Owen Sound coming in at 2-2, two and two, losing to both Oakville, who's only played one game and is 1-0. And, oh, and Six Nations, as I said, they beat Clearview 11-9 and beat Brooklyn 8-9-8, as we're going to quickly go to the National Anthem. At least I think. Now back, pardon me though on this no one is silence. Obviously I was talking over Fred. I do quickly want to give my condolences to the great Glenn Juniper. I was actually going through some Rogers archives last night looking for some video of me commentating for a buddy of mine doing a feature at school and saw me do a broadcast with Glenn and it almost brought a tear to my eye. But here we go for some senior B lacrosse action. First home game this year for Owen Sound and the faceoff is I'll go with one by Owen Sound. Starting goalie for Six Nations is Dustin Hill, number 27, and for the Owen Sound Bugs Use North Stars. I actually didn't get a chance to see his number, but I believe it to be number 42, Lee L L Landon Keels. Owen Sound now with possession. And there's going to be a whistle there. Oh, and I, un <laughs> they're going to call a helmet violation for his helmet being undone. Now possession with the Riverman. Going down low. The Riverman still looking around there for a pass. Looking for a shot, shot clock still in effect. Good pass in front, just handled there by Wes Whitlock. And now the ball's batted away and now here comes Owen Sound on a run. And it'll be stopped in his tracks there as the Riverman were able to get their rotation in fast enough. First minute now is elapsed in the first home game for the Juice North Stars. Good shot there. By a number I don't have. I'll find out in a minute. Pardon if I'm not getting the names cor quite correct. The uh, lineup sheets for both teams aren't particularly helpful as I had to do, spend the last 10 minutes trying to fix the Irvermans lineup sheets. That's a good shot and a better save there by Landon Keels as I thought.
Still picked up there by Owen Sound. Owen Sound passing it around, mishandling it a little bit there in the offensive zone. Now fighting for it there with only three seconds left here. Ooh, and a good shove there. They're gonna give him the pedal, they're gonna send him. And they're gonna send both, it looks to be. And they're gonna be sending the captain, number 81, Jonathan Ray for the Rivermen. And it looks to be number three there, Jake McNabb, who I believe the great Mark Perry had a chance to interview. Actually, no, they're not sending McNabb. They're just sending the Rivermen's player. So it looks, don't know they are gonna send McNabb. I thought they were. And uh, yep, Jake McNabb definitely was interviewed there by the great Mark Perry. You get to hear that interview either in between the first and second intermission or the second and third. Now passed around, shot scores! Six nations on the board first, and it's Wes Whitlock, number nine. He's the second leading scorer on this Riverman team in five, now five games. With four games coming in, he had 16 points, six goals, 10 assists. Make it number seven there for Whitlock. You see there a wide open shot and he beats Keels low. Face off there, one by Six Nations and here they come. That was Oakley Thompson with possession of it. Now he'll give it up. That was Vern Hills Jr. who dumps it in. Possession still for the Rivermen. They got 15 on the shot clock. Played in the middle, overran it. Now going around the net, centered in front, behind the back shot, good save there by Keels. A good shot though. Oh, we'll go with Jesse Johnson. Possession now for the North Star. Still four on four for about a minute and 13 seconds. North Stars still got possessions. Pass, nobody home, and other Rivermen will pick it up, and they got a three on one. In shot, scores! Quick start there for the Rivermen. Wayne Hill gets the goal, and it's already two nothing. No, Six Nations, and we're not. We're just three minutes in. Wayne Hill there with the absolute rocket as he gets it there and beats Keels low again. Quick start for Six Nations. Face off again, one by Six Nations, and the ball goes deep into the Owen Sound zone. Still fighting for it there as it goes near Keels. He goes to play it, ball pops out for Six Nations. Still holding on to possession. Oakley, Tom, Oakley Thomas gives it up. Vernon Hill Jr. Vern, spinning around a couple times, shot, good save there by Keels. And they're gonna call that possession for the Rivermen, and they keep possession and a fresh shot clock. Now giving up, and here they come. Travis Longboat in shot off the bar, I believe. No, they're gonna say it went off of Keels in the possession. We'll keep with Six Nations, but the shot clock will reset. Going in, passed in front, nobody home. It's still picked up by Six Nations, I thought. No, it was not, now it is. Now passed in front again, shot. That one well wide, took a deflection off of a Bug Deuce North Star stick. Now another shot, that one is saved by Keels in his shin pad. There's still a shoving match going on here in the corner, and he rips the cage right off him. And there's gonna be a call there. Wes Whitlock, the first goal scorer, will be getting a penalty, you assume, for roughing. He got right a hold of, I believe that to be, Thompson McDonald, and he'll get the two minute minor, and he's not happy about it. As I said, the second leading point getter on this on this Riverman team with now number 17, 17 points on the year. Now possession for Owen Sound. Owen Sound's power play percentage is 33%. Eight for 24 this year, a lot of power plays for him so far. Shot from the top, shot scores! Travis Gibbons, Gibbons with an absolute rocket, and it's 2-1. Quick start here for both sides as we're now got a 2-1, 
lacrosse game here, not just over four minutes into the contest. Gibbons here kind of gets it back to the top, station to station, just walks into it and rips it low there on Dustin Hill. What a shot there. Face off again between Six Nations and Owen Sound. That one won by Owen Sound and dumped all the way back to Keels, who will pick it up. And he'll give it up. That was Zach Tompkins who plays it forward. Oh, misplay there by Owen Sound. Two on two though. The North Stars have a chance to get back. Still fighting for it there. Into the corner it goes. Two on one, make it three on one, and they'll get away with it. And that one sound will keep possession. Klopfer. Gives it up. Giving up again. That ball bouncing around. Riverman can't pick it up either. Ball now goes into the half boards. Ball will now go into the corner and picked up there by the yeah, thought six. They should give it away shot. I believe saved there by Hill. I believe he made a stick save on that one. Hopefully Mark can get a replay of that. That was something else there as now the Vermin come back in for possession. Just over just, oh man, just over five into the first frame. Two one in favor of Six Nations. The undefeated squad already beat no one sound this season. Played in front, nobody home. You can definitely tell the physicality difference here between the senior B and junior B North Stars. As Thomas McDonald gives it up top for Gibbons. Travis Gibbons shot. He gets hit as he shoots, but shot another one, and there's an injury on the floor. And they're going to call an interference, and down is Mike McLeod. We'll see a replay of it. Again, the captain tonight for the Rivermen getting the call there, and Jonathan Ray. On my sheet, it was 17, or at least the, the score sheet that I was texted by the, the radio play-by-play -play tonight, Matt Hermes. But tonight, it looks to be number 81, and that's, I got Johnny Ray under that number. And that definitely is an interference call. Definitely caught him high, and not... Not, not physically well over it. Now, the second power play for Owen Sound, they're one for one tonight. And the guy who scores, the guy who's got possession right now, Travis Gibbons. Gibbons gets it back. Played around the top. Shot from the side, good save there. That was on Jake, Mc... Jake McNabb. Back up to Travis Gibbons. Gibbons. Gives it up, shot scores! What a shot there. And it's by number 14, the one number I don't have on my sheet. We'll start looking. And it's actually his first game this season why I don't have his number. It's Brady Hesseltine, number 14, getting the goal. What a shot there by Hesseltine. You see they're passing around the top and Hessel Hesseltine rips, roofs it. What a shot there. Now Owen Sound's got possession again. Owen Sound looking for a breakthrough and they'll get it. Here they come. They're like Klofer. North Stars has still have possession. Only five on the shot clock. Looking for a quick shot, dumped off, nobody home, giving up right there to the Hill and the possession will go to Six Nations. Thrown immediately up there for Vern Hill Jr. What a shot, just scores! I meant what a pass, it ends up beating kills anyway. And that goes to number seven, looking down my sheet, Marshall Paulus, who is the leading point getter on this Six Nations Riverman team. He has 19 points now in just five games played. That's number seven for, for him in goals. Hill with a beautiful pass to Paulus who beats Keels, I believe, five hole in the end. And we're back up to 3-2 in favor of the Rivermen. This game already a lot higher scoring than most other contests in, in the league, at least from what the two score sheets from both sides looks to be. I'll go through that a little bit later. Rivermen have possession now in the zone. 
looking for a pass. They do and it will go into Keels' zone. Lucky for him, a wide open. Riverman was right near him. Possession now deep in the Riverman zone, and he's got a hold of him there as the ball will go to Six Nations. Down the floor now. Shot, good save there by Keels, and another penalty for, I believe, Six Nations. And he stands over him a little bit there after the shove. That's Hunter Angus of Six Nations getting the call. You're gonna probably call it cross-checking. Now it's weird off of, and he threw down there number 19, Nick Quaid. The third Riverman penalty to be taken tonight. Owen Sound got both goals on the man advantage. They came in with 33%. Obviously gonna jump a hell of a lot higher right now. Possession again for the North Stars. Gibbons, Hesseltine, back to him. He's getting pressured a little bit, just gets it over. Back to Hesseltine, shot, good save there by Hill. Whacked around now, picked up by Six Nations, there they come. In, Hill, shot, good save there, but footed, or too many men call there on. Six Nations, the possession will go to Owen Sound. Oh, pardon me, it's a North Stars penalty for too many men on the ice. We'll see who serves it. We're waiting to see who will be sent over by Owen Sound. If they will send anybody to Owen Sound, it looks like they're gonna have to. And they're, they're gonna see who they sent. And they're gonna end up sending their Brady Stewart. There comes Six Nations on their first, on, on this for another four on four. Six Nations scored four on four earlier in the contest. Shot, that one, I think beat Keel, but didn't beat, just went wide. Picked up again by Six Nations, they keep possession. And a fresh shot clock to boot. Played in front, and he did step in the crease, I believe, and possession will go to Owens out. Four on four for another minute and five seconds, then it'll be a power play for the River Rivermen for all of about 25 seconds. Still Owens out now with possession. Here they come. Hessel time. Plays it up. Nobody home there. McNabb just couldn't get a hold of it. Misplayed, though, by the Rivermen, but now here they come. Looking for a lane, they got 10 on the shot clock. Getting around, popped up. Couldn't get a hold of it. We'll get a shot away, you gotta think. They will, and it goes off the post. And they're gonna reset shot clock. They're gonna say he got a hold of it. That one shot, good save there by Keels. Now possession for Six Nations. Looking for a shot. So they got 20 on the shot clock. They, they will have a power play in all of four seconds. Skip it around there, ball goes into Keels' zone and he'll get a hold of it. And now Keels with 21 seconds off on the man advantage. Six Nations will do a defensive line change, it looks like, and they will, no one's will try to kill the rest of this penalty. And what are they gonna call? Looks like they're gonna call something on one sound possession now to the Riverman with eight seconds off on the power play. Just under 10 to go here in this first period. Three, two in favor of the Riverman. Now out the penalty, here he comes. Riverman now back to five on five shot. That one goes wide and it will go straight back down. And Owen Sound's gonna race after it. They're getting right out after. There's the is the goalie Dustin Hill, and he will get rid of it. And now he'll waddle back to his uh, battle back to his net as it's mishandled there by Six Nations, and possession will now go to Owen Sound as the shot clock went anyway. Here they come. The Bug Juice North Stars in their first home game this year. Play it around the top. They only got 15 left on the shot clock. Six Nations pressuring them up top. Looking for a shot. Can't get around. That looks to be McNabb's shot. Just over. Picked up, though. Another shot. Good save. 
I believe that was John, or Jordan McMillan now. And up top, our Six Nations looking for a rush. They will get it. Yes, they will shot off the post, I believe. Six Nations now will hold possession and they will wait for a light line change. Played around. Ehrman looking for a shot, they do, it goes wide. Still picked up though by Ruben wide again. Played across, Riverman shot, scores! What a shot! And it's Wes Whitlock with number two. Wes Whitlock making it number eight on the season for him, and it's now 4-2 in favor of Six Nations. Watch this absolute rocket from Whitlock in what I'll call a foam booth. Look how little time he's got there, and he just finds the hole between landing keels, and now it is 4-2 in favor of Six Nations. Possession there for Owen Sound, they're looking to get it up, and they will. That's Gibbons. Gives it up, Hesseltine shot, caught there I believe in something of Dustin Hill. Possession now back to the Riverman. Riverman passing it around, trying to get in front, blocked up, but still picked up by Six Nations. Played around. Six Nations looking for a lane. They'll get one. Pen pass back shot, misses the net, but another good shot. Good save there by Keels, couldn't get a hold of it. Shot clock resets once, twice, three times, and possession will stay with the Riverman. Give it away, what a pick. Thereby, it looks to be number 22, Dustin Lance. And Lance still got possession of it. And he's going deep into the zone. Gives it up to Brady Stewart. Stewart deeks around. He's gonna give it up. McMillan gives it out. And what an opportunity there for Owen Sound. Still can't gain possession of it. And that was Dustin Lance there who got the late bobble, but what a pick there by him. That was so clean, no one even knew he got it. Nick Nation's now back at it. Looking for a shot, give it up. They're playing it around, looking for another lane. Fighting for it there, a couple good whacks, he's dumping it into the corner. Thought there was less time on the shot clock than there was. There was about eight seconds when he dumped it into the corner. And now coming up the floor. Is Owen Sound. Shot there, that one goes high. Picked up though by Klopfer, Brett Klopfer. Plays it down low, shot, good save there on Gibbons. Possession now again for Owen Sound. Give it up and here comes Owen Sound. Breakaway, chance for Owen Sound. In, spins around, shot, good save. Still got possession of it though, and Owen Sound will reset. What an opportunity there for Zach Tompkins for Owen Sound. And Owen Sound's again got possession of it. Pardon me again for not knowing everyone's name. The, uh, the two sheets I've been given for names are not exactly correct, so I'm having to Kind of mix and match here of what I look at to see who I'm talking about. Hesseltine now, looking for a shot. He'll, behind the back, almost beats Dustin Hill, but it'll just go wide. And now possession for the Rivermen deep. It will go behind the net there of Keels and he'll pick it up. Now possession for Owen Sound. Deep in the zone they go. Put down into the corner of Six Nations, boot it up, and it will go stay in play. Almost like we have been out of play there for a second. That was Nick Quaid there with the late push, and Gibbons now limping to the bench. Or at least laboring for sure. I think it's limping, and we're going to find out. Shot, 
Good save there by Kiel. Solid pick there, shot, good save by Kiel. What a save there by Landing Kiels to stop what was a stone cold great A opportunity. And now it's down with possession. Four minutes left here in the first frame. 4-2 in favor of Six Nations over the Bucks Juice North Stars. Possession still 4-0 in South Hesseltine. Hesseltine gives it up. Pass McLeod will dump it down. Looking for a lane, there's McNabb. Passed up top shot, good save there. Good up there for Hasseltine. Hasseltine looking for McNabb, he'll pick it up. McNabb's got possession. And now looking for a lane to get up for Hasseltine at the top of the circle. Hasseltine gives it down, going deep in, shot! No foot in the crease! What an opportunity there for Chris Van Uttegem. And that one won't count. Now possession for the Riverman. Played up top. Looks still looking for a shot. We got 10 on the shot clock. Couple good hits there, that ball pops up and here comes Owen Sound. Bouncing around there was Hayden Coulter. Coulter now got possession of it. Coulter, Quilter, shot, good save there. Fake the pass there to Brady Stewart. Now fighting for it there in the corner and got possession of it. Brady Stewart now still got possession, getting quite a few whacks. He's gonna try to body it, and he will. To Owen Sound, dumped into the corner. Picked up there by Mike Finnegan. Shot low, good save there by Hill on McNabb. Now possession for the Riverman. Oh, pardon me, we look like to think Boston Pizza for the crew refreshments here tonight. You can see them at 1606 16th Street East here in Owen Sound or call them at 519-370-2003. We'd like to help them because they help us and they have some pretty good pizza down there at Boston Pizza. There's another goal for Six Nations as I did that spiel. Pardon me, the one-man crew kind of makes it trouble when I'm trying to look at the action and the screen at the same time. I gotta have the chameleon eyes, but we'll get a chance to look at it here. And what a spin there, and he just beats Keel low, and it's now 5-2 in favor of Six Nations. That ball will bounce all the way down to Keels, and he'll play it out. <laughs> Owen Sound still has possession of it. Looking for a lane. They can't get it. Jordan McMillan playing it around. Mike McLeod going deep in. McLeod shot scores! I didn't know that was going to point in the crease, but that one's going to count. Mike McLeod gets his first tonight, and it's a 5-3 in favor of six. Pardon me? No, it's not. What in the world? I thought it was a goal. It's like, oh, and Sound thought it was a goal, but nevertheless, still 5-2. Now we know it's Sound shot. There's going to be a call there. And we're, I wanted to get a week, quick replay if Mark's got it on that last opportunity there for McLeod. I thought McLeod scored it. I thought the ref said he scored it, but obviously he was pointing to what I thought he was in the first place. So I knew his foot was in the crease. Here he comes. And uh, his foot definitely touches. See, look at that point. I can't tell if that's a goal point or a, you know, his foot's in the crease point, but nevertheless, now a Six Nation penalty there. It looks like Jesse Johns, Jesse Thompson, pardon me, number 92. On sound three for four tonight on the man advantage. Give it. Good fake shot just wide. It's going to go all the way down to Keels, and he'll walk out to it. Gills look to play, and he he will. It gets blocked there for the moment, but now we'll go to Owen Sound. Hesseltine shot, good save there in front shot. Great save by Hill. Oh my goodness, he runs Mike Finnegan there, and now Six Nations. They got 42 on the clock. Down a man. Penalty kill for Six Nations coming into tonight. 
was a grand total of 70, uh, 72, or oh, 73% coming into tonight. Gone a little bit down to Owen Sound's potency on the power play. Owen Sound's power play also at 33%. I believe Six Nation's got a power play goal tonight. They were six of eight coming into tonight. Make it seven of nine, at least I believe. And now Six Nation with a chance. Shot scores! Short-handed goal there for Six Nations. And it goes to Travis Longboat, his second tonight. It's now 6-2 in favor of Owen Sound. And how the tables have turned, or if you're an office fan, how the turn tables, as now it is 6-2 in favor of Six Nations. Owen Sound scored a goal, so they believe they did, but foot in the crease. I feel like the Flames fans currently. I mean, Calgary Flames. Look at that shot there by Travis Longboat. Beats Keels low, and it's now 6-2. Something we've seen a lot in the Junior B is goalie switches. I wonder if we're gonna see an appearance from Garrett Reed, the guy on the bench for the Owen Sound Bug Juice Door Stars tonight. Kinda interested to see what they do there. Six Nations got possession, but they'll throw it all the way down, bumps off the shoulder. They have Keels, and that will do it here for the first period. First period in the books here in Owen Sound. Six to in favor of the Pardon me, the uh, Six Nations Rivermen. Some days my mind just blanks and over the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars. What a start there for the Rivermen. Disallowed goal though on the North Star side. Cost them dearly there in that first frame. Definitely not what you wanted to see there as a Bug Juice North Star supporter. But definitely a decent period. They had some pretty good points of play. They definitely had some good chances there on the power play. And there, there I am, Spencer Byers here with you tonight, bringing you this game on Rogers TV. Had some good moments, you know. Um, Mike Hesseltine, a guy I never my sheet, scores a goal. He looks really good. He's looked really good so far tonight. So is McNabb and um, McLeod there on the offensive end. Defensively, Owen Saunders hasn't been out far enough on those Six Nation shooters, and it's proven with the six goals they've allowed. Two to Travis Longboat, quick look. Two to West Whitlock, who's now got eight goals on the year. Tied for most with the Six Nations leader. Still, I believe now actually second most in points behind Marshall Palace, who also got a goal for Six Nations. So not a great first start here, first period here for the Owen Sound Bug Dues North Stars, but they only lost by two in their first meeting with Six Nations, 11 to nine. So we'll, or I believe actually 10 to eight, but nevertheless, only two goals. So we'll see if Owen Sound can bring it back going into the second period. After the break, we'll be getting a chance to see Mark Perry do an interview with the Owens, with one of the Owen Sound Bug Dues North Stars forwards. I believe it will be, um, pardon me, Jake McNabb there. So you'll get a chance to see that right after the break here on Rogers TV. We'll see you then. What kind of show do you want to see on Rogers TV? What interests you? Log on to rogerstv.com, fill out a show proposal, and tell us about your segment idea. We want to know what you want to see. Rogers TV, only on Rogers. My name is Matthew Rutledge. I'm a Sissy Scoop survivor, born in Red Lake. I was adopted from there to Toronto at the age of four. A lot of our brothers and sisters, uh, family members, got separated from each other. That was the government's goal, to break that connection from brothers and sisters. They're basically taking the Indian out of the child. Right now, they're still trying to find themselves. Originally, my birth name is Harvey Halverson. In my high school days, teens, I was trying to fit in to society. I knew I was First Nations, but I didn't know who I was inside. I think later in life, I started that journey. I am proud, and it's not my man, but who I am now. I love life, who I am. I'm David Sherman, host for Politically Speaking here on Rogers TV. Join me for my next show, where my guest will be Alex Ruff, MP for Bruce Gray Owen Sound. Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. Okay, Jake, you're, you've had a good start to the season. You're leading team in scoring. How, how's the, how do you feel it's been going ahead for you? Uh, it's been going good. i got to give all the credit to my teammates. Uh, I've got a lot of assists, so, you know, somebody's putting the ball in that, right? So, um, yeah, it's been good. I, 
haven't been able to play with these guys for a long time, so being able to come home and play with my hometown buddies, it, it's been great. Great chemistry and, and a lot of fun. So did you play lacrosse at all for the last two years? Much? Uh, yeah, I played uh, I played in the uh, major series across uh, last summer, and then uh, I had camp, uh, played some scrimmages um, in the NLL this year. Um, but uh, yeah, no, excited to be back out here. I haven't played in this barn in probably eight or nine years, so yeah. it's uh, it's awesome. I wonder, probably Junior B was that when? Yeah, when I, think I was like 14 or something. Like <laughs> 15 I played here. Yeah. So uh, how how do you think the team stacks up this year? For good. I mean, it, you know, we uh, we're younger than years in the past, but we still have lots of uh, experience in the dressing room, and uh, you know, I think that combination of you know young young guys that want to run and gun, and then you know your veterans that. You know, we'll hold down the fort. Um, you know, it's a great combination, and, and you know, I think it's going to be a really good season. What's the key to your your game? Uh, key to my game, uh, I got to keep my feet moving. Uh, that's one of the things I, I I need I need to constantly remind myself keep my feet moving. But um, just shoot the ball, be a good teammate, and. Uh, um, yeah, hard on and off the floor, do the little things. You're playing a strong Six Nations team today. What does it take to beat them? Uh, I don't know. I think last game we. we lost by a goal but it, it was a close game we were right there with them i think uh you know we got to stop their transition they have a lot of young guys that are very athletic to play, to play both uh, offense and defense so we shut down that transition you know take care of our power play penalty kill and uh you know we should be all right tonight okay perfect thanks Rick. yeah thanks okay good okay good try Mark. October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks and it shattered her world. <laughs> you have a home. Waiting in line for groceries means you have money for groceries. The isolation, being broke and totally scared about what's next. I was feeling that before this crisis. People say we're in this together, but me, I've got no one. Youth who have aged out of the child welfare system are in danger of falling further through the cracks because of today's crisis. They need your support. Please give today at helpyouthnow.ca. Are you the type who would keep going or stop? It's not easy to stop when you have an addiction. Legalizing cannabis won't stop addiction. It trivializes its consumption. Let's be vigilant. If you need help, visit portage.ca. For the first intermission between the ooh, Six Nations Rivermen and the Owen Sound Buck Juice North Stars, R Rivermen currently up 6 2 on Owen Sound. We're quick, gonna take a quick look here at the standings currently in the Senior B Division. Six Nations happens to be at the very top, being 6 or 4 0, oh, pardon me, while Owen Sound happens to be third place at two and two as you see right or pardon me actually second at two and two pardon me right there oakville as you see there one win only one game played against owen sound they beat him 11 to 6. owen sound also beat brooklyn as you see there in fourth nine eight and they also beat clearview as you see there at the very bottom at 11 9. they lost to six nations as i said earlier in the broadcast 10 to 8. six nations on the other hand beat innis innismore 12-2 Beat Brooklyn 16-5 and beat Clearview 17-5. Clearview, so Six Nations has, in all the purposes, walked the Senior B Division so far. Except for Owen Sound. But Owen Sound tonight hadn't had a great start to the first period. Pretty good on the power play. Both of their goals coming on the man advantage, increasing that power play percentage coming in at a 33% clip. But in spite of that, five on five, they haven't been able to create a whole lot of offense. Rivermen fighting them very high up in the zone, pardon me, as they come closer to the center line than they do their own goalie, trying to force Owen Sound to play a lot farther away. It's 
been very interesting to watch on one side. It's been very, very hard pressed to create any amount of space in their offensive zone. Compared to speaking to Six Nations, who in all intents and purposes in the offensive zone is absolutely dominated by getting, you know, some picks, creating movement, creating a little bit of motion, and being able to get that 6 2 lead. We'll be right back here again on Rogers TV with me bringing you the rest of the game going into the second period. See you for the second period. of you feel like you aren't able to be who you truly are. What's most important, more important than everybody else knowing who you are is that you know who you are. As a young person, time moves slower for you and just know that things will get better. It Gets Better Canada is a registered Canadian charity with a focus on uplifting our queer youth through the power of digital storytelling. As a two-spirit person, I use they, them pronouns, but that's not the case for every two-spirit person. There are so many voices out there that we didn't have 10 years ago, 20 years ago. No matter what your mind tells you, you really are perfect the way you are, so stop beating yourself up so much. I'm gonna be a boy in a dress, because why not? Your identity is explosive. We all have our unique journeys, but one thing that connects us all is the desire to be happy, the desire to celebrate being our authentic selves. Every year, dozens of Canadians are killed or seriously injured because they take risks around railway tracks. Talk to your loved ones about rail safety. Visit stoptracktragedies.ca. And welcome back here to the Bayshore Community Center in the J.D. MacArthur Arena for tonight's Senior B lacrosse matchup between the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars and the Six Nations Rivermen. If you missed the first period, quick recap, 6-2 in favor of the Rivermen coming into the second frame. Owen Sound power play coming in at 33%. Both goals of theirs tonight coming on the power play. Well, Six Nations scoring a short-handed goal on this actually penalty that the Owen Sound took or that part of the Six Nations took just for the end of the first frame. But anyway, back on to the second frame now as Owens out of possession while on the power play for another about 22 seconds. Owens sound there looking for a pass and they'll get it now. You see their Six Nations meeting them a lot higher than it seems to be they're used to. Only 10 now on the shot clock. Gibbons. Couldn't get it over. And Six Nations gives it up though. Owen Sound has to take a shot. They don't, it gets blocked. And now Six Nations, cherry pick in there and Keel will take it away. Cherry pick in there was Vern Hill Jr. who's got a, or doesn't have a goal tonight, but has a couple assists tonight. Back to five on five. We're back even Steven here at five on five. Jordan McMillan played into the middle, couldn't get it there. Back to McMillan, shot, good save there by Dustin Hill. This is actually his first game started this year. The normal two, or pardon me, this is his third game this year. Pardon me. And he's a 2-0 and oh, and he's got a goals against average of six and a half. Keeping that in line tonight. Played across, shot, good save there by Keel. Played up and here comes Owen Sound. Dustin Lance. Good shot, that one's high. And now here comes Six Nations, but I think Keels is gonna charge it. And he won't, the buck call comes right to him. That one Sound has possession deep in the Riverman zone. Shot from an awkward angle there of McNabb, but because the shot clock was going. Owen Sound gotta get back now. Shot, good save there by Keels. Look, a little sluggish to start it off tonight, but it's looked really, really good later in the latter half of that first and starting the second period. Fast across. And around shot, good save. Keels into the crease, and it's gonna count! 
And Keels can't believe it. And Keels is saying, I th at least I think he's saying what I thought. That foot was in the crease, but apparently we're playing against the uh, the Dallas Stars tonight, and that was not in the crease. Anyway, now Six Nations up 7-2. It looks to be Jesse Johnson getting the goal. We'll take another look, quick look at it here on the Raj replay. Shot, good save you see there. And I actually don't know if Jesse's... Uh, Foot touched in there, but I think Owens oh, out of case. But anyway, seven to down in favor of the Rivermen. This looks to be status quo for them. They average 14.3 goals a night, and they're showing why. They already got half of that in only about 23 minutes of play. Another chance here for the Rivermen. That one goes in, his foot's in, and they're gonna get a hold of him there for getting his foot in the crease. He gives a little headbutt there, at least for what it looked like. Mark Perry, I wonder if we can get a replay on that one. I didn't like the look of that. God, Senior B lacrosse is so much rougher than Junior B. It's going to be a culture shock tomorrow when I do a Junior B game at 2 o'clock and a Senior B game at 7 o'clock. Stay tuned for more North Stars lacrosse action tomorrow. As the Bug Juice North Stars play, as I, as I said, 7 o'clock tomorrow here at the Bay Shore, while the Junior B play at 2 o'clock. Six Nations, though, have possession. Looking for another open lane. He'll get it, shot, good save there by Keels. I believe the senior B play Clearview tomorrow night at seven o'clock. And the river, another shot there by the Riverman, good save there by Keels, but another, again, regained possession by Six Nations deep in the Owen Sound zone. Fresh shot clock one more time. Passed across, Six Nations still has possession of it. Looking for a shot, he'll get it. Another good save there by Keels. He's been very sharp in this second frame. Based a lot of rubber. Shot well wide. It's going to scoot all the way down near the end of the Owen Sound Zoma pick. Re pick back up there by Six Nations. That's Tyler Brown. Passed across into the middle. Shot. Good save there by Keel. Travis Longboat's got two at about four shots on that prolonged uh, zone time. And Long, or, uh, Longboat just couldn't get that third and Hat trick goal there on that sequence. Owen Sound now moving it quick. Another great pass, shot scores! What a passing play there! And Jake McNabb adds to his totally the leading point getter and now leading goal scorer for the Owen Sound Boat Juice North Stars. Number six goals, number 15 for points. What a shot! Watch this, one, two, McNabb starts the move, McNabb finishes the move, and it's now 7-3. Lucky there for the North Stars. Ball go all the way down now to Keels, and he'll gain back possession. Looking for a pass, and he'll get it. That ball pops up, and I'll pick back up there by Six Nations. What a sequence there for Owen Sound. What a passing play. Pass across. Owen Sound. Pardon me, the roommate with another good shot. Another good save by Keels. I said goalie change. What am I talking about? Passed in. Shot. Good save there by Hill. And that ball will fly into the stands here at the Bay Shore. Now for Owen Sound, looking for a shot. Passed out. Mike Finnegan just couldn't get the shot away, and he'll go deep into the Six, six Nations crease. Another good slip there. Six Nations in, shot scores! And that's Hunter Angus with the goal, and it's now 8-3 in favor of Six Nations. They are two goals away from their total against Owen Sound just mere weeks ago. Not a great start tonight for Owen Sound. What a shot there by Hunter Angus. Now possession for Owen Sound. They win the faceoff. 
last up there for the line change as they progress. That'll be Brady Hesseltine. McNabb, the most recent goal scorer for Owen Sound, getting harassed. Got a high stick there, no call. They'll get a round shot, good save there by Six Nations. And he's not happy about it, I don't blame him. He was getting well harassed there near his face mask for sure. He doesn't even get a chance to go off as that ball will get moved quickly back up for Owen Sound. Mike Finnegan has possession. Gives it up there, McNabb, it gets stolen. And here comes Six Nations. Vern Hill Jr. in, shot, scores! Yes sir, he does, and Keels is hot again! Keels can't believe that one counted. We'll get a replay of that and see if that one beat it. And that's Vern Hill Jr. One of the smallest players on either side. And it's now 9-3 in favor of the Rivermen. I believe that was the last goal. It was there, and that was Hunter Angus. We'll see if Mark can get us a second look there at the opportunity. The last opportunity, pardon me, there for Vern Hill. Now Two Hills got goals. Vern Hill Jr.'s got one and Wayne Hill's got one. And here it is. Wayne, or Vern Hill in, shot, and it is definitely in. No offense to Landon Keels, that one definitely beat him high. I believe it was a timeout called by, I wanna call it Owen Sound. Not a great start here tonight in the home opener. Down all the way down to nine, three. This has been the easily their most lopsided game, at least at this point. Every game they've played has been within five goals when it's ended, and tonight looks to be a little different. Owen Sound only averages eight and a half goals per game. So we'll see if they can eclipse the eight and a half goal mark tonight. It's like I'm betting odds on FanDuel. Now possession for Owen Sound. Passed across, McNabb looking for a lane. He will get one. He got well high sticked as he shot it. And they're gonna call it a hole against the Riverman. And it looks to go against number 22, Hunter Angus. The great Fred Wallace here, some amazing music choices. He just had Rasput uh, Rasputin and now he's got uh, another good one there. Great music choices there by the, the radio star himself, Fred Wallace. Gibbons, McNabb, back to McNabb, back to Gibbons, Gibbons, Hasseltine, Hasseltine, McNabb, shot, tip a couple times and it'll pop out, Hasseltine though will get possession of it. Hasseltine, pass down, nobody home, and now here comes Riverman, pass too far for Vernon Hill, and he'll just wave at it as he'll take a line change. Want another goal there to add to his stat sheet. McNabb. Owen Sound still with possession. Gibbon, back up, back up to Gibbon. Back, back to him, McMillan, back to McNabb. McNabb, looking for a pass, looks like he does. Has a time, one-timer. It goes wide, he'll fly all the way down. We'll see if he'll get, or see it, no he can't. Just couldn't get a hold of it, there was Keels. He still gave a good whack at it. German now still on the penalty kill for just under a minute. I'm kind of curious who's got it. Now I know who's got it. I thought it, I thought it would be West, uh, West Whitlock. Now it goes back to Whitlock. Down low, Everman. Remember, we're on the penalty kill right now. They have 10 seconds left in the shot clock. We'll see if they just chew it. Whitlock looking for a shot now. We'll pass it up. Shot blocked and Hopping up after the block there is Zach Tompkins. And he will labor off himself. He got that one right in that side of the knee. The soft spot and that one wouldn't feel nice. Besseltai gives it up. McNabb. That's Mike McLeod with the, at the top there and another good shove and they're gonna get possession of the Owen Sound North Stars. 
couple of those plays where the North Stars are completely losing their footing after some checks and going sliding on the concrete. That can't be a nice feeling. Power play is now up for Owen Sound. Back to five on five. Mc McLeod gives it up. Hesseltine shot blocked. And McNabb will let it go into the stand stands and he'll get possession of it now. He'll get a fresh shot clock to boot. Down low, Owen Sound. Still looking for a shot. I believe that's Mike Finnegan, and it is. Finnegan gives it up. One of the um, Six Nations players lost his stick and now will be able to go get it. It's now going down in Six Nations on almost a break there, but a good line change by Owen Sound. That, I believe, is Brady Stewart who got in front. I believe two of his children are definitely same family, at least playing for the Junior B squad. And Brandon Stewart and Calvin Stewart. Both, both Stewart's on the Junior B team are also defense main defenders as Brady Stewart was there. Owen Sandow got possession of it. Missed play there a couple times, and now it's a two on O, oh, making a one on O. Oh. Vern Hill Jr. looking for a second, and he'll get it. And it's 10 3 in favor of the Rivermen. And Owen Sandow's going to take another timeout. We're going to take a timeout for sure. What a horrible start for Owen Sound. Owen Sound's been having a lot of problems here tonight against Six Nations. And I can see why. Six Nations has a great transition game here. As we quickly want to thank Boston Pizza for some of the crew refreshments here today. You can see that at 16 16th Street East, not, uh, not enough sixes there. Here in Owen Sound, they call them at 519-370-2003. They can help them because they help us. And they serve some pretty good pizza down there at Pizza Hut. In the name, you got to think it's pretty good. Nevertheless, they are here in the Senior B contest. Definitely been a rough go here for Owen Sound as now it'll be a face-off after the second goal and second uh, breakaway goal there for Vern Hill Jr. in front and I think it was in the crease and they're gonna call it that way that was Zach Tompkins I believe and now possession for the Riverman we're over halfway done this second frame 10 three now in favor of six nations shot that one saved by Keel I just got the confirmation from Mark Perry. He did get another interview with Mike McLeod. He said he'd get two, he did get two, and you'll be get a chance to see Mike McLeod in between the second and third period during the second intermission. Owen Sound now Hesseltine shot. Good save there by Dustin Hill. Not been a great game so far for Owen Sound. We'll see if they can turn it around here as now half the game is officially elapsed. shot that one well high goes off the back there a good shove there by six nations they're still talking and they are still talking they get a couple whacks that was Brady Stewart and wet uh, Wes Whitlock number nine the numerical counterparts not happy with each other Travis Gibbons looking for a shot he'll give it up to Mike McLeod as I said get a chance to see him in a little bit a good shot there by Brett Klopfer, but just couldn't get the opportunity. Now possession will go to Riverman, and here they come again. Another breakaway. In, shot, off the bar. I don't know if there was a touch there by Landon Keels. Now the North Stars have possession, and they'll give it up. And now got possession deep in the Vermin zone. 10 on the shot clock. Played in front, fighting for it. Nobody home. 
Good couple whacks there on McLeod. Another good shove there. And Owen Sounds looking for a shot. They'll get it. And a penalty will finally be called. We'll see on which hit it will be. I believe is on the one to McNabb. That looks to be number 90, Matt's Mil uh, Matt Miller. That's what I'm going to call him. And it's going to be a cross check against Miller of Six Nations. I, on my sheet it says Matt's. But I'm hoping his name is actually not Matt's, like he's Matt Sundin, but Matt's Miller anyway, going to get the penalty. Six Nations, or pardon me, Six Nations. North, the North Stars now in possession in the Six Nations zone. Played across McNabb. Oh, misplayed there by both North Stars. Now they're going to retreat. Vern Hill now getting harassed for the ball, and now the ball is going to get swept away, and now picked up, you thought, by Owen Sound. It is shot well wide, and now possession will go to Vern Hills Jr., who got another chance for a break. And he is. Vern Hill shot just wide there, and now possession for Owen Sound. Interesting sequence there between the two sides. Now, Kesselpine gives it up, shot, it's deflected. That was Klopfer. McLeod's got to shoot it, or pardon me, pass it. Getting shoved around again. And they're going to call a hold on somebody on the Riverman. Riverman are not happy about it. The average four, or pardon me, 13 and a half penalty minutes per game, and they've had a, he a heck of a lot more tonight. There's gonna be a hold there again, so it looks to be number 15, Oakley Thomas. And it'll be a five on three for Owen Sound for a whole 51 seconds here with 640 left in this uh, second frame. Playing it around, McNabb shot, it's wide, picked up by Hesseltine. Down low shot, it's deflected into the corner. And we'll see which, which one which team retrieves it. It looks to be the North Stars and McNabb, but it will be McNabb. Oh, Hesseltine shot, good save there into the chest of Hill. Dustin, Hill's look really good here tonight for Six Nations. Six Nations trying to tell him to go and he finally will. Everyone waving at him, including the coaching staff. I quickly actually want to mention that the coaching staff here for the Senior B North, uh, Senior B uh, Six Nations, the Rivermen, is the same as the Six Nation Rebels that were here last weekend for Junior B. And that was a good shot. They played, a, I believe, 12 12 tie with the Junior B North Stars. Mine would that be a pleasant sight right now for the Bug Juice North Stars. Now, now they lost one minute, managed they still stay on the power play for a Got another 45 seconds. Give it up. Castle time. Shot. Good save there. McNabb. To whacked off his stick. Mike. McNabb gives it up. Back up for Castle time. McNabb. Castle time. Back to McNabb, back to Asseltine. He'll deke in, shot, it'll go wide, and McNabb will receive, I believe, but it looks like he'll get harassed there by Vern Hill, and they're gonna send out the defenders. And that will kill the rest of the penalty there for Six Nations. And they'll have about 18 to go on the shot clock as they go back to five on five. That shot goes well wide. Well, into the Six Nations uh, bench, basically. And still fighting for it now. Owen Sound will get a breakaway. Bumped into the ref there. Owen Sound, three on one, giving up. Passed around, shot well wide. There's still a Six Nation player down on the floor. And it looks like, oh, Brady Stewart. And it looks to be number 18 there on Six Nations. Not happy with each other, but. Down on the floor, writhing in pain there. I can't, I didn't see a number. Oh, it's number six. I'll go down my sheet. That's Fern Hill Jr. Cap, it looks to be. But the way he plants, 
He gets a whack there. I don't know if that's the whack because he keeps, oh no, it definitely is that whack. It's that whack of something scripted. He gets another whack there and he is writhing in pain as he throws his helmet and his glove and he's having a problem walking. And it, I hope it's just a cramp, but he is in a bad place. It looks like they're going to take him to the bench. It doesn't look like they're going to take him straight to the locker room, which at least I think is a good sign. We'll see if Fern Hills Jr. will uh, reappear here in the second half, second quarter, or second period, pardon me, and even the third now with how. Oh no, they are going to walk him. He's going to go out the side door there as he's going to limp off. I don't know where he's limping to, but I believe their dressing room's where I am, but he's limping around. He's trying to work out that calf there. Face off to Owen Sound, and it's one. It looks like just be stretching it out there is Vern Hill Jr. Roman again up possession deep in the Owen Sound zone. Shot scores! That one beat Keels low. And it's now 11-3 in favor of Six Nations. And it looks to be number, that looks to be 11 to my seeing. That could be Longbow. We'll see. Fake didn't know it wasn't. It was number 18, a player I don't have on my sheet. I'll take a quick little gander here at the Six Nations sheet, though, but I'll take a quick, other quick look here at the uh, Owen Sound North Star. Shot there by... As, as, Mar as, uh, as the great Fred Wallace said, I used to go on goal score as Owen Sound's got possession of it now. Shot in, good save there by Hill. What an opportunity there for Brett Clover. Just couldn't get it in. Oh, pardon me. It was 18, not 17. I thought I had a, I do have a 17 on my sheet. I haven't seen 17 play yet, but I do have a 17. Played in the middle, nobody home there for Six Nations. Here comes Owen Sound. Couple good wax there. Couple good whacks there taken by Zach Tompkins. And I think the Six Nations asking for a reset and they got it. And now here comes Zach Tompkins. Three on one. In shot scores! Brady Esseltine with his second and it is 11 4 now. Well, it's down to a little bit of life. You see it here again, Tompkins gets it back, gives it right back there to Hasselfine. He walks him down and then just fires it low and beats Dustin Hill. Now, I can't even find an 18 on the stat sheet of Six Nations, so hopefully it's just a player who is wearing a different number tonight, but We'll find out. I didn't even have it on the uh, the score sheet, which to me more confuses me. But nevertheless, we're back out of here in this second frame. Just under two and a half left here in the second period. 11-4. Was that now with possession of it? Looking for a pass, and now given away. There was Nick Quaid. They'll find board. They're right in front of the Owen Sound bench. That's Vern Hills Jr. back actually on the floor. He is back at it. Must have just been a cramp. Shot. That one's well wide, and a fight there. We'll see, they're gonna call a hold against Owen Sound. They are gonna call a hold against Owen Sound. And it'll go against number 26, Rob Klopfer. That's why I keep trying to make sure I say Brett Klopfer, because I knew Rob would show up eventually, Rob Klopfer, but I didn't have him on my sheet either. He was on my stat sheet. And they're 
going to quickly sweep up some of the sweat, I assume, as if we are back at it here at a basketball game. And now just under two minutes here left in the second frame. Power play will elapse the entire frame and a little bit extra if Owen oh, can kill this penalty off. Six Nations moving it around. Shot, there it goes wide, and that ball scoot all the way down to Six Nations' zone. Quickly want to mention Six Nations, I don't know if they actually have a power play goal tonight, or even a man advantage tonight, I think they might have had one. They came in six of eight on the power play, making that 75% on the man advantage. That one, I almost beat Keels there, but a good save with his paddle. I'll call it his paddle, his, uh, his goal, his goal, uh, goal stick, goal net. Couple go back there, the one's done, looks to hold off for as much as they can of this power play for the Riverman with about 10 left on the shot clock. Just under a minute left here for the Riverman to do something with this power play. 11-4 in favor of the away side. Passing it around. Oh, that one looking for a one tee, but the ball misses. And now here comes Owen oh, Sending in possession, and they will. Zach Tompkins, two on one. Tompkins, fake. Tompkins passes in shot, scores! Hayden Coulter makes it 11 5. And I said after the fourth goal, there's some life here for Owen Sound, and they're showing a little bit of fight here tonight. Trying to make this score look a little more respectable and maybe even come back in it. You see Tompkins take a couple times, finally takes the passer, and a good shot there by Hayden Coulter makes it 11 5 in favor of the Rivermen. Short handed goal as well there for the North Stars. That is their first short handed goal this year. The ref's calling something. I think he wants to reset the clock. Yeah, that's the North Stars' first short-handed goal. Six Nations scored one earlier. They're now tied for most in the league with the Clearview Crushers at five short-handed goals this year. And oh, good Lord, you wonder why. They have five short-handed goals there for Clearview, but their power for penalty kill percentage is 56% which happens to be middle of the pack so far with how lopsided the games have been with Clearview playing five games and Oakville playing one game. So it's been kind of an interesting uh, layout so far here, something you'd see out of the uh, GMHL with the Knights of Meaford playing so many games or so many away games because of the uh, arena not being available to them till later in the season. But what a game here so far for Six Nations. They got 11 goals. They've already eclipsed how many they had against the ones out in their first matchup, and now they have possession of it again. 10 seconds left. Looking for a shot, that one goes wide, it will bounce up, and there's gonna be a call there. And they got him for it. And cannot believe it is Clearview. Or pardon me, clear for Six Nations. And it'll be Tyler Brown with 4.2, 420, ironically, left on the clock. And it'll be a penalty against Six Nations for, I believe, interference. They're not happy about it. There is Tyler Brown. And it'll be four on four for eight seconds for Owen Sound. They're gonna pull the goalie. They're gonna make it six on four. See if they can do anything with it. McNabb's got to do something quick here. Gives it up Gibbons. Gibbons got to shoot. It's blocked, and it will eclipse the time. 4.2, just not enough time to do something with it there for the North Stars. And two late goals, though, by Owen Sound will make this scoreline look a little nicer, and in spite of that, get them a little more confidence here going with a 4-on-4 four four for three more seconds. 
in going into that third frame, and then it'll be a power play for 52 seconds for the North Stars. Not exactly a great period for them again. They came into it down 6-2, they're now down 11-5. So there's one more goals in that second frame, but they also allowed one extra. So, or I guess, no, I guess one less, pardon me. So actually, I definitely on the score sheet, a better second period. They seemed a little more out of sorts earlier in that second frame, allowing so many early goals, but were able to straight, uh, tighten her up in this, later in the second frame. We're able to do some great defensive work and get two late goals to be able to bring this game a little bit closer. Now they need to rely on their power play to start the third period, try to get an opportunity at Dustin Hill, who's looked very, very good tonight. There are four Six Nations. He's got two wins on the year. Goals against average at six and a half in those two wins. He's already allowed five tonight. We'll see if he allows those two extra to make it a little higher. But we'll be back here on Rogers TV for the rest of this period. You'll be getting right after the break an interview from Mark Perry there with Mike McLeod of the Owen Sound Bug Hughes North Stars. And after that, we'll be back to me, Spencer Byers, here in the booth to recap the second period and prep you for the third as we get ready for the third and final frame of between the Owen Sound Bug Hughes North Stars and the River uh, Six Nations Rivermen. As a score currently, 11-5. We'll see you soon. Hello everyone, your host Antoine Hashem here on the couch and welcome to season eight. Yay! Eight seasons and we got a lot of awesome guests coming up so keep watching. Ontarians have concerns about the future. The economy and inflation, housing affordability, the quality of education, and our fragile healthcare system. For the upcoming provincial election, Rogers TV brings you the candidates to talk about these and other important issues facing the community. Before you head to the ballot box, hear from the candidates on the local campaign on Rogers TV. Get to tune in to Great County Life at Home next week. We're going to be talking to John Farmer about lawn bowling. Uh, it's great. I mean, the guys are excited. Um, you know, over those those couple years, we've lost a few bodies just due to. You know, they've got other things going on in their lives, but uh, we got a good young group that, that come up from the junior program and uh, have been involved in Owen Sound Minor Lacrosse, so it's it's definitely exciting to get back at it. So, obviously, two years off, yeah. Do you have that? Yeah, like I mean, we've lost our captain Tyler Gibbons, which is a which is a big loss. Um, a few of the other veteran players that. Um, for other reasons, aren't aren't, aren't back, and uh, yeah, so there's there's probably a good five to ten new faces, um, but it's good to see the young guys that have uh, come up through the own sound system, especially. And uh, I, it's hard to tell. I mean, I think we look we look really good, young, fast, um, but I think all the teams are going to be like that with the two years off and all the young kids that have come up. So um, this will be a good test today to see kind of where we're at. They're, they're definitely the measuring stick of the league, so. It, it was a really good game, uh, a clean game. Um, I know people are used to the physical stuff between Owen Sound and Six Nations, but uh, it was surprisingly a really clean game, up and down the floor, lots of action. Um, both goalies played phenomenal, and uh, I, I, I think you should see the same thing here tonight. So what does it take to beat Six Nations? We, we really got to take care of the ball in our own end and on and on offense. Um, they're going to capitalize on, on our little mistakes. So if we make less mistakes than they do, then I, th I think we have a good chance. Thanks, Mark.
treaty in Cree is Naskometoen, an oral agreement. And our agreements were always spoken. For George Spence, the core of treaty was Wichihioen, to help one another. And so we, the commissioners. He was there for the making of Treaty 9, where the Cree were told, We will honor this agreement together for as long as the sun shines and the waters flow. The Cree made their mark because they were assured that the land would be shared and they would always be able to harvest what they needed. George Spence was my great grandfather. In his life, he saw many promises of the treaty go unfulfilled. Treaties were essential to the creation of Canada. First Nations still fight for the agreements to be honored. What kind of show do you want to see on Rogers TV? What interests you? Log on to rogerstv.com, fill out a show proposal, and tell us about your segment idea. We want to know what you want to see. Rogers TV, only on Rogers. Welcome back here to the lovely late uh, Harry Lennox Major Community Center and the J.D. MacArthur Arena for tonight's Senior B Lacrosse matchup between the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars and the Six Nations Rivermen. Owen Sound currently down 11 to 5 going into the third frame. They did score more goals in the second frame than they did in the first, scoring three goals in the second period compared to two in the first. We'll see if they can get four here in the third and see if they can make this one a real game. We're quickly, quickly going to look at the leading point getters here in the Senior B Division so far. As I said, the, uh, the games played are quite... Uh, inconsistent, but you see at the very top there, Chris Atwater, 23 points, far and above the best player so far in the league. He also has 15 goals, leading goal scorer in the Senior B Division as well. You see there, Marshall Paulus, who's got a goal tonight and a couple assists. You see Wes Whitlock, or, yeah, Wes Whit White, White Low, pardon me, also has two goals tonight and also is up there for Six Nations as Tyler Brown's also in there currently in the box for Six Nations. You see there, though, Jake McNabb, Mark Perry had a chance to interview him. You saw his interview between the first and second period. He's there in fifth. And Jordan Cascanet, I haven't seen him yet tonight. I also haven't seen Jordan Goddard there for Six Nations. Both guys on 13 points tied for the sixth spot in the uh, in the Senior B Division. You also see Travis Longboat down there in 10th. Only two games played, had 11 points come in. He's now got two more goals to add to his six he came into the game with. So it's been very, very good in his limited action, but been definitely interesting game there for Owen Sound. They haven't played necessarily as good as the stats would show, but they played everybody close. No game they've played this season has been a farther differential than two goals, or pardon me, other than Oakville, they lost 11 to six. But you know, They've had a really good end of that second period. You got to hope that that, as much as one of my teachers hates the word, momentum's got to carry over into the third period. They get a little bit of confidence and a little bit more fun there going into the third period. But quickly, we're going to go for one more break before we get back to third period action. I'm Spencer Byers here on Rogers, bringing you the third and final period between the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars and the uh, Six Station Riverman. We'll be right back here on Rogers TV. I'm David Sherman, host for Politically Speaking here on Rogers TV. Join me for my next show, where my guest will be Alex Ruff, MP for Bruce Gray Owen Sound. Politically Speaking on Rogers TV. St. John Ambulance, we're all about community. We teach life-saving skills and provide community support through our volunteer services. All St. John Ambulance product sales and training registrations support these important services. Volunteer, donate, or enroll in a program today so we can continue to have an impact on our community. Visit sja.ca to learn more. At St. John Ambulance, we do more than save lives, we change lives.
October 5th, 2014, my daughter was hit by a train. She was walking along the sides of the tracks and it shattered her world. <laughs> Back here to the Bayshore Community Center in the Jane MacArthur Arena for the rest of this Senior B lacrosse matchup between the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars and the Six Nations Rivermen. They started early on us one more time. You gotta love it. As a good shot there and a better save by Dustin Hill. Only like the third time that they've done it to us, so you know, always impressed when the game starts before I can get a chance to bring it to you here on Rogers TV. But nevertheless, we're back here with some senior reaction. 11 5 coming into the period here for six. Are you the type who would keep going or stop? It's not easy to stop when you have an addiction. Legalizing cannabis won't stop addiction. It trips. For Owen Sound for another about 50 seconds here in this third frame. So we'll see what Owen Sound can do with the rest of this power play. They've been pretty potent on it tonight. They scored their first two goals on the power play, so we'll see if they can get one more. McNabb, down low. Gibbons, McNabb, Hesseltein. Hesseltein shot just wide. Picked up though, shot. Good save there by Hill. That was on Brent Klumpfer. Riverman still got possession of it though, deep in their zone, and they'll now move it out. Two on two. Holding it here for the rest of the shot clock. We did get a shot away. Like you reset the shot clock and that did kill the rest of the penalty there against Tyler Brown. You saw it was one of the top scorers. Shot, good save. There by Dustin Hill, I almost missed it. You blink, you're gonna miss that one. What an opportunity for the North Stars. Now that was Mike Finnegan, number 88. Had the opportunity, just couldn't cash her in. What a chance for Owen Sound to start this third period. Ball deep in, giving up shot, and it will. They called something against the Rivermen. Possession will now go to Owen Sound. Just before the shot was taken, so it wouldn't matter if it went in anyway. So now here comes Owen Sound flying up with Zach Tompkins. He goes straight in, just scores! What a goal by Zach Tompkins! Oh my goodness, let's see that one again. It's 11-6, and I said a, a good end to the second period. Keep the momentum, keep the confidence, and look at the bravado there, coast to coast for Zach Thompson. Zach Tompkins, pardon me. Look at Tompkins go by one, by two. It's a for sale sign and Tompkins is buying. What a goal there for the North Stars. And they got possession again. Trying to keep my voice. I got two more games to go tomorrow. Senior and junior action tomorrow, two o'clock against St. Catharines for Junior B North Stars. And Senior B get the clear view crushers. Tomorrow at seven o'clock, Gordon and I will be bringing you the senior game. It looks to be me, myself and I all by myself tomorrow for the junior. Other good shot there for the North Stars. Picked up by McNabb. That shot was taken there by Mike McLeod. And now Six Nations back in it again. Shot over Keels. Good opportunity there for West Whitlock to get his hat trick goal. It'll squirk out, and now the now North Stars will get possession of it. And the great Mark Perry has begun a quick little break and play. The Mark Perry did give me a quick little refresher on some of the names of North Stars. You can tell it's been a while. And it's Zach Tompkinson. I was missing the sun on the back of his name, and then there, of course. Oh, and Sound. There's going to be a call there against Six Nations, and now Owen Sound will be sending the goalie there as Keels will bust towards the zone there. And down, still on the floor. Thank goodness he doesn't look to be hurt. There was Hesseltein. And he's asking there to get a quick wipe. And they are going to send out the wiper. And here he comes. Elegant on his feet as ever. 
And the call will go against number 50, Ty Khan, there of Six Nations. And I actually got the quick little refresher there by Mark Berry about the, the, uh, the quick sweeper, and he'll go quickly off. Now possession for the North Stars. They get another two-minute power play. We'll see what they can do on this one. Hasseltine will start with it. I'm going to take a quick little look to make sure, so I can re-pronounce his name to make sure I get it right at least once tonight. I don't see him on the floor, but it's Mike Feigen. I've been calling him Finnegan. It's Feigen. I did get the, re the confirmation from the great Mark Perry, and I trust him more than anybody, so I know he's right. Hasseltine, McNabb, McNabb. Looking for Hasseltine, and you get it to him. Hasseltine, great back pass. What an opportunity there for Owen Sound. It's skipped by Klopfer, and it went to McMillan. Shot McNabb, good save. He'll pick it back up. McNabb, what a power play so far here for Owen Sound. Hasseltine, shot, good save there. Flung up, looking for the lead pass, and they'll get it. Station to station, Vern Hill looking for his third. Vern Hill scores. And he will beat Landon Keels. I don't know if he said something, but it definitely looked like he could have said something there to the North Stars as he, as he, ran, as he went, ran by. I can spit my words out. You see there, it goes, you're looking for that far pass. He just gives it up there. And then into Hill's hands, and he will pot it easily. And now it is 12 6 in favor of the Rivermen. Owen Sound again got possession of it. Here they come. The Quaid gets sprawled out, does a barrel roll, and almost got possession of it. And now here comes Six Nations. Good fake there. And the one guy don't have the number on number 18. In though, he goes definitely in the crease, and they're gonna call that, now possession for Owen Sound. Still the power player, Owen Sound. I forgot, so I assume you did too. We got about 40 left on the man advantage. Hasseltine. McNabb, shot, good save, picked up though. Good shot, scores! Fred Klumpfer gets his first today. Had quite a few opportunities. He cashes that one. And it's now 12 7 in favor of the Rivermen. Again, Owen Sound looking really good here since the end of that second period. Added to the power play percentage. What a shot there by Klumpfer. Pops up there. Oh, what a hit. They're out of the stick. Centered in front. Vert Hill scores. Oh, my goodness. That was so quick. You almost missed it. That's his fourth goal tonight for Vern Hill Jr. He had six goals in four games coming in. He's got four tonight. That makes it 10 for him. The ball pops straight up in the air by Mike McLeod. You see that stick goes flying. Then it's picked up, centered in front, and guess who? It's Vern Hill Jr. again. This is by Wes Whitlow. I mispronounced his name as Whitlock. It's Whitlow. And now going in into the Riverman. Riverman now got possession of it. He's looking for a shot. It's saved there. I'll call it. And a couple good whacks there. They're going to jaw off a little bit. They're squaring up a little bit. And that looks to be number seven, who I don't have. And I'm going to see who the North Star was. 
And it was number 13 for the North Stars, who I also don't have on my sheet. Oh, what a day for me. We're gonna take a quick little gander here at the stat sheet, see if I can find a seven. And guess what? I can't. So we don't know who got the, ri the Riverman penalty, but we're taking a quick little gander at the North Stars penalty. Apparently, uh, uh, Fred had the name. I'll see if I can snag it from him here in a quick little lapse in play as we play some four-on-four four lacrosse. Played around the room and shot. Good save there by Kells. Played in front. What a catch! In! Tompkinson scores! Oh, pardon me, no he doesn't want to save by Dustin Hill. I thought he pointed to the spot saying it was a goal, but I was mistaken. What a save by Dustin Hill, but what an opportunity there for Tompkinson. Keels it in! Banked off him and Keels ain't happy about it. It's 14-7 now in favor of the Rivermen. Banked that one right off his shoulder. I think they want to say his foot was in the crease. And we're going to take a quick little gander at this. Oh, I think it hit the netting? They're saying I think it hit the netting. And to no avail, they're not going to get the uh, confirmation on that one. Possession still with the Riverman. 14-7 now. With 12 and a half left in this third frame. Still four on four for another 55 seconds. Pass misplayed there. Still fighting for it though. And now possession for the North Stars who cough it up again. Oh, there's gonna be a whistle there, and it's gonna go against the against the Riverman and it'll go to Owen Sound. And there's Fegan. Castle Pine, fake, still got possession, shot, good save there by Hill. For it. They're still in the Owen Sound zone of the Riverman. Fresh shot clock, passing around shot. Well, wide there, that was West Whitlow. Good save there by Keel. Another good save there by Keels. Landing Keels. Playing his heart out tonight, even allowing 14 goals, it looked pretty good. McNabb fighting through a check, trying to get to the whole, trying to get to the line. He will shot good save. Reset there for Owen Sound. Klopfer plays it down for McLeod. Mike McLeod. Looking for an opportunity, he gets a good whack there. Back pass to ring up, shot just wide. That ball will go out of play. There's a couple jawing there, I think, between the benches. I heard some uh, colorful language, to say the least. They're still fighting for it down there. In the Owen Sound zone, good save there. There were actually two Owen Sound and, well, one Owen Sound, one Riverman player 
deep in the Riverman zone. I'm kind of curious why. They're basically playing four on four. Interesting strategy by, I don't know which team, I assume the Riverman. But interestingly enough, and now they're gonna both gonna go off. So I wonder what that exactly was about. Not, not my place, I guess. Under 10 to go, that one goes wide of Keels and that one will bounce into the penalty box and I thought it would. Gives it to Keels who gives it up. Thomas McDonald's got possession of it. He'll give it up. That's Jordan McMillan. McMillan gets shoved down again. That's like his fourth time on the ground. Good shot there by McNabb. It goes wide. No go all the way down. After it goes Vernon Hill. He might beat it. He will not, though. Good job there by Keels, who will just throw it all the way down to the Riverman zone. As he knew that one would just be a dump. Fake there by number 18. Looking for rain there is Longboat, shot, good save. Misplayed there by Owen Sound. And he goes down, and the Urban will pick it up again. Good couple whacks there by the number 13. I don't have the number up. I want to give him a compliment, but I don't got his name. Oh, it's so upsetting. Well, anyway, number 13, there's gonna be a penalty, I think, against him there for slashing anyway, but number 13 for the North Stars on defense has been pretty good tonight. Shot, good save there by Keels, and now the call will come, and it will be a slash. And I believe it will be against the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars number 13. And he'll waddle slowly to the penalty box here with 8.22 left in this third frame. Kind of confused here for a second. Always going for a quick drink before we get this power play underway for Six Nations. I was confused for a second. I thought Dustin was going to the, the bench be, be five, six on four, and I was kind of confused. I was like, why would you do that? And it, I was just confused. So here we go. And now West Whitlock. I think you heard Fred there with his. A little bit of impatience. Now the Rimmerman, now possession. Whitlock, or Whitlow, pardon me. Whitlow, pass it off. Behind the net, are the Rimmerman. Cross crease pass. I think the Rimmerman wanted a high stick there, but no avail. No mass. Shot well wide, it will go all the way down to Dustin Hill. He's gonna have to try to play it with two seconds, and he won't get away with it. That ball will bounce in to the Riverman zone and they'll get the chance of the line change. And he cannot believe it. There is Zach Tompkinson. He's got one tonight. Cannot believe he misplayed that one for the opportunity for the break. And now possession for Owen Sound. Hasseltine will get the pick. Hasseltine gives it back. Klopfer gives it up or almost give it to McNabb, but he keeps possession of it. Hasselfine trying to fight through a check. He'll get the pass. What a pass there to Klopfer. Klopfer shot. Good save there. McNabb going to try to press two. Shot clock was reset, then re-reset. Now you're going to the Riverman. 57 seconds left on the power play for him. I missed you there by Wes Whitlow. He kind of fanned on that one. Pass across, shot well high there. And that was Travis Longboat. Possession there for and that one again. Couldn't get rid of it fast enough. Owen Sound's got possession of it again. Here they come. Second straight shot clock violation there by the Rivermen on the power play. Not that 75% they came in with, looks like. Ref kind of in the way, and down he went. There was Thomas McDonald with the check from behind. A little, a little nudge. Again, he's just gonna try to hold it there in the corner is McDonald. 
He's got 12 seconds left on the penalty kill and 24 left on the shot clock. Ball will pop up and now position will go to the Riverman with only five left on the power play. They're trying to get down on the floor, not very fast. I guess they're just letting the men get out of the box and they're gonna wait now as coming out is number 13. A defender as well. And again, the Riverman are just playing four on four. They're keeping Vern Hill Jr. I think they're just trying to play for the win. They're not trying to play for any more offense. They're just trying to keep the North Stars from getting any breaks. And McNabb's kind of waddling back now to see if he can do a line change there, and he will. And now Hill, passed across, shot scores! Travis, long boat number three, gets the hat trick. And it is now 15 to seven in favor of Six Nations. So weird, pardon me, that Vern Hill Jr. got an assist on that goal, I believe, was so far down hanging out. At least what it looked like it was Jake McNabb. I don't know what strategy or whose strategy that is. That's all it sounds, trying to cherry pick or the Riverman just trying to play one guy back no matter what so we can stop rush chances. But interesting call nevertheless for either side. Now that's for Owen Sound. Five and a half minutes left here in this third period. Played up, McMillan. McMillan looking for a shot. He can't get away with it. And that ball will go into the corner. And somebody's bench was yelling. I don't know exactly about what. I guess you're telling him shot clock was about to go. Don't take a penalty. The fake there is now here come the Riverman. Going down are the Riverman in, in deep inside. The North Stars don't want to pass by Whitlow. Good save though by Keels. And that ball will bounce up and here he comes. 2-1-0, flying in, shot, good save. There it was Brady Stewart with the opportunity. Now he'll bust back and play some defense. The main defense, one of the main defenders on this Owen Sound team as he'll get bumped and he's got to be bagged. He just went 200 feet, not once, but twice. He wished he would have scored that one to ensure he didn't have to go back another 200 feet. Pass down, misplayed. There by Wayne, who's got one tonight. That ball goes behind the Owen Sound net, and the possession will go to Owen Sound. Kill will walk her out. Looking for a pass, he'll fire it, gives it right away though. The Travis Longboat shot, miss there by Jordan Goddard, pardon me. I do have Jordan Goddard, number 13, very bottom of my sheet shot. Good save there by Dustin Hill. So actually Jordan Goddard has played tonight. He's number 13, I forgot that because of all the, the number mix-ups here on the the, uh, the Six Nations side, I've had a problem trying to find him. He's at the very bottom of my sheet. Came in wearing number 97, actually wearing number 13 shot. Good save there on Longboat. Landing kills look pretty good there. Almost misplayed, handled there by Nick Quaid. He'll get away with it though. Now fighting. He's called for shot, scores! Brent Klumpfer and it makes it 15 to eight. Owen Sound now at the eight and a half averaging goal mark in the season. They got eight tonight. What a shot there by Klopfer. <laughs> Face off one by my McCullough. It takes a couple good whacks and he's still getting laid on and a good pat there by the Six Nations face off taker number 81, Johnny Ray. I guess he really mean to do that to poor Mike because he won't they will both go off. That possession for the Riverman. Flying in now is Whitlow. He'll give it up. He'll give it way up. And now possession for Berman now lit farther back in the Owen Sound zone. Pass back for Whitlow. Whitlow back across. Shot. Good save there by Keels. Picked up though by Wayne Hill. The big man gives it up. 
Mar that was Marshall Powers there for a second. Now it's back to Whitlow. Wes Whitlow. Back up there for Marshall Paulus. He'll give it off. Back across there for Whitlow. Whitlow looking for a shot. He's got 10 on the shot clock. Whitlow looking for a shot. He does. Good save. Trying to get a whack at it. Couldn't. And now possession for the North Stars. Not happy there, but they thought there was a push there. And that ball well too high for Zach Tompkinson. And Owen Sound has been a game to forget for the North Bug Juice North Stars. Just having a problem moving the ball around. Now here comes the Riverman. Two minutes left here in this third and final frame. 15-8 in favor of the of visitors. Shot, good save there. By Keels. Couple good shots there. Number 13, who I definitely don't have the number of. I swear. And possession back to the Riverman here with 140 left. They're gonna use, I think, most of the shot clock. They have about 23 left on it. And they're still, hey, both teams are still, still being a little scrappier shot. Good save there by Keels. Another good shove. Oh my goodness. Minute and a half left. These two teams are taking a break. Brady Stewart now, two on one. Brady Stewart in, pass across, shot. Good save there by Hill. That was Dustin Lance, and that looks to be Fegan, and it was getting knocked down. So now possession to Owen Sound. And now the offensive guys will come on the floor. McNabb looking for a lane. He gets one, but not towards the net. Gives it up. McMillan back up top there for. And a good whack there on Fegan. McNabb also couldn't get a hold of it. Backhanded into the corner, and it will go all the way back down. And we'll see if they can get rid of the ball here before the shot clock will go for Owen Sound, and they will. A possession will go to. The Riverman with 41.9 left on the clock. A full 30 will basically take us to the end of this contest between the Riverman and the Bug Juice North Stars. And the Riverman will just hold it. And that looks to do it here at the Bayshore. For what has been quite an entertaining game, if you're a Riverman, Riverman fan for sure. Owen Sound had some moments of success, just not in not in the right moments as they're gonna end up losing this one from what it looks like to, to be 15 to eight. And Owen Sound will pick it up and that will do it for this one as the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars will go down to two and three as they end up losing this one 15 to eight to the Six Nations Rivermen. Not the way you would have wanted to see it end for the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars, but not a bad contest by them. They had two guys get two goals in Brady Hesseltine and Brett Klumpfer, as well as some goals from Mike McLeod and Jake Mc McNabb, who you got a chance to see during the intermissions there by the great Mark Perry getting a chance to interview them, as well as one goal there by Hayden Coulter on a two-on-one -on -one opportunity. Not a great game for the Buck Juice North Stars in general. They lose by almost double digits. They almost lose by double their score. They scored eight, they lost by seven. Not a great game for them, but they're playing against a team that's undefeated in the Six Nations Riverman. They've won all five games they've played. They've beaten everybody by massive amounts of about massive score lines. And Owen South played them the closest out of anybody so far. Six Nations hasn't played Oakville though. That'll be their biggest uh, biggest opponent, it looks like, even though Oakville's only played one game in that victory against the Bug Juice North Stars. On the Six Nations side, Dustin Hill. What else is there to say? He played fantastic the entire night there for Six Nations, and is one of the big reasons why they were able to come up with this win. Four goals for or part, yeah, four goals for Vern Hill Jr on the Six Nations, as well as three goals for Travis Longbow. Came in with, I believe, six. He's now got eight and only three games played. So he's uh, talk about scoring goals. He's a goal scorer. Six Nations look really, really good tonight. And I think I don't think Owen Sound looked that bad. I just think they played against a really, really good Six Nations team that is 5-0 and for a reason. And they proved it why tonight. Upsetting, though, that Owen Sound played them so close earlier in the year at a 10-8 loss earlier in the season at Six Nations near Hamilton, if you don't know where Six Nations is, I had to Google it as a uh, current Torontonian. 
hopefully moving back to Owen Sound in about seven days' time. But nevertheless, what a contest there for the Rivermen. But again, Owen Sound played very well on the defensive end later in that second, going into that third period. They played a lot better as the game went on. You got to expect tomorrow against the Clearview Crushers, who are currently one in five, six position in the league. Owen Sound has a great opportunity tomorrow night at 7 o'clock to be able to pull out a good win and go back to even Steven at 500 against a lower table team. As I said, the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars will be playing again tomorrow night against the Clearview Crushers at 7 p.m. Stay tuned for that, as well as the Junior B North Stars will be playing against St. Catharines at 2 p.m. tomorrow night. So lots more on the cross here on Rogers TV to see there. They play a home and home against Clearview, then home to Oakville on the 4th. Then play a play two straight home game against Innes Moore. Then they go away to Brooklyn and Innes Moore, then back to Brooklyn later in the summer. So some definitely big games coming up there for the Bug Juice North Stars senior squad. But what a game for them. I mean, eight goals, average eight and a half against easily the best team so far in the division. They've definitely played better as the game went on. And as I said, they play Clearview tomorrow, one and five. But they do have the leading point getter and goal scorer in the entire senior B in Chris Atwood. 23 points, 15 goals. Oh my goodness, by about seven more than anybody before tonight. So he'll be red hot coming into tomorrow night against the Senior B. Talking about Junior B, they play tomorrow against St. Catharines, who are a top three team in the league, at least in, their, in the Western Conference. Owen Sound looking to continue what they've done at home. They are currently only lost one game, tied another one. They've been fantastic all season long here at the Bayshore. They look to continue it tomorrow against St. Catharines. Again, Owen Sound, not a great game tonight. Only eight goals, but those goals coming too. Brett Klumpfer and Brett and Brady Hesseltine and a couple other goals there from for uh, McNabb and McLeod and uh, Hayden Coulter. Then on the North Star uh, on the Six Nations side, they had four goals from Vern Hill Jr. And they also had three there from Travis Longboat. But as I said quickly before I let you go, two games to more here lacrosse. Junior B at two o'clock against St. Catharines and Senior B at seven o'clock against Clearview Crushers. Gordon Dowie here for the Senior Game. It looks like I'll be by my lonesome again for the Junior Game. Thank you so much today for bringing me into your living room at 3 p.m. here on a lovely Saturday for the Senior B North Stars game between the Owen Sound Bug Juice North Stars and these against the Six Nations Rivermen. Six Nations won 15 to 8 and I'll see you tomorrow for the Junior B game at 2 o'clock when the Owen Sound North Stars take on St. Catharines. See you then. the Rogers TV viewer response line. Email us or connect with us on social media. I did it. I need it. Okay, here, I gave it. And I am alive. As an organ donor, you can save up to eight lives and enhance the lives of 75 others. Please go to our website, Pledge a Gift of Life. You'll be glad you did.